We just made it to HHB. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we'll be vlogging at Hundred Hills Ballet. It's the fourth day for the summer intensive, which is also the last day. I've actually been doing a new hairstyle that I actually really like, but it takes a long time. Let's get started. Fun fact, I'm actually getting tall enough for this angle now. Where's the comb? I'm gonna make the yogurt parfait for lunch. So let's make it. Alright, we're gonna add some yogurt. I'm gonna add blueberries. Next, I'm gonna add a probiotic. This little spoon is so cute. I'm gonna add some chia seeds. Next, I'm gonna cut up some strawberries. Next, I'm gonna add Cheerios because we don't have any granola. That's all for this yoga perfect. And now I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna be leaving in about 15 minutes for HHB. I just wanted to show the kitchen. It looks like this every morning. It actually looks pretty clean compared to what it normally looks like. Hey guys! This person over here is one of the people that makes it messy. I'm gonna be cleaning so that it's not a mess for everyone staying here. And yeah, we'll be leaving soon. We just made it to HHB. It's so hot today. So we have like an hour and a half ballet class. Then we have a half hour lunch. Then we have an hour of stretch. And then like two hours of like variations, but we and always do Nutcracker. So it's gonna be a long day. Yep, 11.30 to 4.30. Yeah. After a long day one thing I love to do when I get home is to take these mix hers the company's called mix hers and they just make these powders that you pour into your water and it makes these really delicious drinks but they're also super good for you so this one is called her smoothie it's basically probiotic and superfoods so I love taking this after dance here it is I just filled up my glass with water oh and this flavor is mega mango so I'm not Lying, this stuff actually tastes really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour the powder right in. Okay, it may look unappetizing right now, but trust me, it's really good. And then I'm gonna take this frother thing. It just helps really mix it all together. Just Cause I don't wanna get like any powdery spots. Kinda looks like coffee. <laughs> Should look like that. Next, I'm just gonna get a little bit of ice just to make it extra cold. Here it is. Yeah, <laughs> such a mango flavor and I love mango. It's perfect for summer. And you're also getting in probiotics and superfoods, so I really recommend this. Great after day and super refreshing. I'm just gonna sip on this till dinner. Hey guys, right now I'm in New York City and I'm about to go shoot with Rachel Neville. Michelle and Savannah have worked with her in the past and she's an amazing photographer and she takes like the best photos. I'm sure you guys have seen her on Instagram. We're just gonna have lots of fun and do some cool shots. I have no idea what we're gonna do, but let's go. Rachel really is like no other photographer. For her, it's all about taking the time getting the perfect shot. She talks about your hand placement, like every last detail, and just making you look the very best that you can. Since Rachel actually broke her foot, Andrew was taking the photos, but Rachel was still giving all her advice. She's just so encouraging, so inspiring. She's always like, come here, look at the photo for yourself. She really cares about each dancer, each client. 
she was always telling me like, what is your expression? What's your apom? We even made up little stories for each pose, which I thought was so cool, and it really helped me like connect into what I was trying to portray. Another thing I love is she has so many leotards and dresses and skirts there. I brought stuff, but I ended up not using any of it because I wanted to use all her cool stuff. I feel like her lighting also makes the photos just pop and the light is like perfectly on your face. I'm really happy with how the photos turned out. I'm definitely going to be using her for my graduation photos, which are coming up pretty soon. I cannot wait to work with her again. Thank you so much, Rachel and Andrew. I had an amazing shoot with you. It was just a really, really cool experience. memes that they put out there it's like here's what a photographer what everybody thinks a photographer's like <laughs> it's like here's what they do every day here's what people think they do every day here's what they really do every day right yeah so it's like with with dancers too it's sort of like I think there's this conception around here's what our training is like and here's what the teachers are telling us and here's but here's what it really takes to get there and all the there's so many of those bits that are so important that a lot of people are starting to talk about or are not yet talking about or that the dancers aren't aware of and you know what really goes into all the bits and pieces how do we keep our mindset elevated and lifted how do we keep the positivity going how do we find those moments of confidence that builds the self-efficacy as we go along the one that I am so I haven't figured out yet but I'm so on top of is the, the comparison aspect that dancers go through how you compare yourself to every person that's standing on the bar and how damaging that is and how how can we help you guys go inside and build build your confidence and build your love for yourself and what your body can do because it's through that that we're able to tell stories and communicate with our audience for your photo shoot like you know everybody comes in with like a whole list of shots that they want to do that might not necessarily be the best shot for their body but there is tons of beautiful shots in every single dancer, regardless of, I don't have the turnout, I don't have the feet, I don't have the extension, who cares? There's beautiful shots. Maybe you don't have an also cone that's like this, you're still gonna have beautiful shots, mm -hmm. right? And it's a matter of just like finding that and knowing what it is. If we can find those nuggets, if we can find a way to communicate that to all dancers, I think we lift the mindset. How many dancers give up and go, oh, and then you never go to ballet again? We don't want to see that. So we want to we want to demystify that and, and get people looking at themselves for the beauty that they all are. Um, so that's what we're about. At eight or. <clears throat> Doesn't look very yummy, but that's okay. Ah! 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 Because you don't have gr Daddy! Next I'm gonna add Stop, Daddy. Uh, so that it's not a mess for everyone that's not- Yay! Ooh. Hey, babes. Ew. All right. Hi, Dave. Oh. Are you kidding me? Bruh.